What's up guys, I'm Josh from Plus Fitness. We're gonna go over everything A to Z with the deadlift. Take you from deadlifting like a bro to deadlifting like a pro, let's dive into it. Okay, now that you guys know we can actually deadlift and we know what we're talking about, we just want to leave you with a friendly reminder from Captain Cringe. So here I'm just going over a quick overview of how to actually deadlift A to Z. So we're talking conventional and we're not doing sumo. That's a whole nother video. So to start off, foot placement. If you notice when Kyle did the wide foot pull, video's on the screen now, you don't want to do that. You look like a giraffe. So what we recommend, walk in from a jumping position. I'd normally jump with my feet about here. It's gonna be your strong point. I like a little bit of angling so I can drive outside too much and you're gonna be really awkward. Too straight and it's gonna look weird as well. So you wanna be just inside your shoulders here. That's step one. Step two, you're not reaching down like this. That's how Kyle pulled, but you're gonna muck up your back. So you wanna sit. You can do double overhand or double underhand if you want more grip. I recommend starting with lighter weights with this and moving on to this one later. So you're gonna sit right down. Now it's very important that you don't start pulling like this. It's a straight leg pull. It's very sketchy. So you wanna have this bar right over midfoot. If you notice Kyle's bar path bad example where he pulled it from in front of him, it's another easy way to avoid that. So halfway on my foot, I'm sitting down. Next up, I'm pulling my back in, drilling it backwards and driving it down my spine. This is called tucking, getting tight. Then lastly, you're gonna pull your slack, rip through. Here, you want your head to position a little bit in front of you, nice and straight, not up, not down. And just to sit downward. So just sit down, get that spine tucked. Quick rip, squeeze your butt, lock your knees. That's the basics of the deadlift. Number one deadlift variation, kicking it off with none other than the deficit deadlift. Now this is a variation that's often used as assistance work for those that actually have trouble in the first stage of the deadlift. Uh, basically the increased range of motion is gonna be recruiting more of the posterior chain as well as the quads, and it's gonna be putting the lifter at a disadvantage, increase the time under tension, and also lengthen the amount of time that the lifter must work through the bottom end of the movement, which is typically the most challenging or weakest link for a lot of lifters. Variation number two, a sumo deadlift. One advantage of this exercise for a power lifter is that the bar has less distance to travel. For conventional deadlifters, adding in sumo pulls can also help give them hip strength and give your lower back a break. Now we're moving on to some pause deadlifts. This is a fantastic way to help improve strength and explosiveness off the floor. What it's gonna do essentially is gonna help you increase the time under tension in a troubled spot, which is where you're pausing, um, which is gonna then feed into the explosiveness factor. On top of that, it's gonna help you engage the lats to a higher degree, which is gonna prevent the bar from getting away from the body. In other words, it's gonna help you maintain a better bar path. So you guys see here, we've got some mats that we're working off of for our block pulls. I think it's very, very important to realize that the utilization of special exercises are just absolutely key to add into your training routine to really build the bottom and top part of your deadlift, especially for those of you who have sticking points. So this is gonna be working the lockout. Um, now onto the hex bar deadlift. This, is, this exercise is gonna be allowing you to actually lift more weight, place less load on the spine and get more knee extensor involvement. Um, a lot of people haven't actually tried this one out so I highly recommend you do if you haven't already. Alright guys, we really hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two and if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with a friend who you think could learn something to improve their deadlift. If we can get 300 likes, we'll make sure to break down the squat. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you later. Peace. You're still filming. You're still filming? <laughs>